west northeast is the motion of these rains from the remnants of Delta. Moving through our area, heavy rains are possible overnight and they could add an additional one and a half to perhaps two inches of rain for some of us, bringing our storm totals by the time the heaviest rains taper early to mid morning tomorrow over the two inch mark uh, in a few spots around the area. It's possible. Luckily, flooding concerns are minimal, but uh, we can't rule out some patchy urban areas uh, experiencing some flooding or near some low lying streams. But the good news, our soil is able to uh, absorb this for the most part. So what else do we have here? I guess it's a mess of systems in the area. We've got Delta tomorrow as this map depicts, trying to fully move out to sea, a stationary front draped over top of us coming southward out of Pennsylvania. And to our west, this is what finally clears us out on Tuesday. So unfortunately, we can't promise completely dry conditions until perhaps early on Tuesday, midday Tuesday, this uh, front finally, this cold front finally clears us out come uh, later on Tuesday afternoon and evening. So we could, this is the good news, finally see some sun breakouts some drier conditions by Tuesday afternoon. And it looks pretty sweet come midday, excuse me, midweek this week on Wednesday and Thursday. Those are the gems of the week with more rain possible Thursday night into Friday. So keep that in mind as you plan your work week ahead. I'm Camden Walker for Capital Weather Gang. Anytime you need us, we're at capitalweathergang.com and on Twitter at Capital Weather. Hey, Wendy, uh, how are you doing in Springfield, Virginia? Thanks so much for tuning in. And uh, Josh, it will be cooler perhaps this upcoming weekend, and we'll get to that in a moment. And good evening, Gary. Happy to have you from Maine. I hope you are doing well. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. I uh, Sorry, I have to check the comments and shake the camera a little bit there. But uh, again, good to see you all. I'm Camden Walker, and we're going to go through. Uh, here's your forecast at a glance, but here's some details for you coming up this week. And lots on the blog, capitalweathergang.com. We've got our cwg.news slash latest is the direct link for this uh, PM update by Greg Porter. And Matt Capucci was on the ground as Hurricane Delta came ashore in Louisiana. So check that out, uh, cwg.news slash inside Delta and cwg.news slash foliage because we're all starting to want to see those colors this time of year. Hey, Mohammed, thanks for tuning in. And uh, Gary, I know we could really wish we could send that rain to Maine. Lots of uh, drought in New England and light rain, Lori in Spotsylvania. Thanks so much for that report. And uh, rain is picking up in Prince William, says Liz. Uh, I'm happy to get wet for you. This is what's happening outside. Nice and damp and more to come tonight. Could get a little bit heavy into uh, the early morning hours tomorrow morning. We finally should see it taper off just a bit into lighter rain by late morning into midday tomorrow. So uh, here's all of the links that we're discussing. You can touch on my face and this will pop up below on your mobile device or above on your laptop or uh, desktop. Wind, I just want to lay your fears, not a concern with the remnants of Delta. This is a rainmaker for us over the next 24 hours. We're really not expecting to see much wind in the area. And again, temperatures tomorrow, it's uh, a little bit clammy, a little bit muggy. Uh, dew points are pretty close to these temperatures, roughly in the mid 60s tomorrow. So uh, it's going to not be exactly pleasant as uh, even though heavier rain tapers off in the morning hours, uh, the sun is probably not going to break out. So uh, keep that in mind. And then jumping ahead to this weekend, you, we were asking, I think a moment ago, uh, one of you all, it was great. Thanks for tuning in, asking about cooler temperatures, perhaps slight chance we see some below average temperatures this weekend. So keep that in mind. And as always, I love seeing you on these Sunday sunset chats. Sunset is happening right about now, I think, up four minutes ago, it looks like. Uh, but I'm happy to see you all earlier and earlier is what I'm trying to also get these broadcasts ready earlier and earlier and having a couple of deadline problems and technology problems. But I'm going to keep trying to keep up as we lose about two minutes of daylight every day. And uh, you'll see me several minutes earlier come next Sunday as well. So keep that in mind. Uh, we're going to get closer to the 11 hour of day, 11 hours of daylight from sunrise to sunset by the time you talk to me next week. Uh, before I think 6.30 p.m. is sunset next Sunday, so keep that in mind. Hey, Chris, will this rain have any effect on the foliage? Uh, no, it is too late for the uh, the foliage to really feel uh, much of this rain. Uh, since the leaves, the chlorophyll is already dying. Uh, the process is already under starting to go uh, and because the shorter day length and the cooler temperatures. So the chemistry is already in a kind of in effect. So good question. If we had this rain maybe a month ago, we could have perhaps had a contribution to a little bit brighter foliage, but some of that is speculation. It's not exactly, it's meteorological adjacent, but not exactly my full expertise. Oh, really quickly, uh, tropics, uh, Liz, I'm sorry to hear about the tornado warning in Georgia last night. I'm glad 
uh, we to report that we don't have any tornado possibility here in the area. But going to the tropics and Delta here, and you can see is a post-tropical system, the X indicated over the Tennessee Valley, Valley that we need to just watch one other system further out in the Atlantic. So far the next five days, fairly low chance that develops. But as it moves into the Caribbean Sea, perhaps in the next week or so, we see it develop between uh, north of Panama and south of Jamaica, perhaps. So we'll just keep a slight eye on the tropics. It's quieter than this time when I talked to you last week, so that's for sure. And uh, let's see, any other questions? How much rain can we expect tomorrow? How long will it last during the day? Great question, Rodney. So here's the rain right now, and it will continue to move through tomorrow morning as the heaviest time frame, southwest, northeast, uh, ending earliest to the southwest, ending latest tomorrow morning, kind of late morning to the northeast of town. And the amount of rain you're asking, Rodney, it looks like another inch and a half to two inches of rain is possible tonight. For storm totals, over two inches possible in some of our area here of the Mid-Atlantic, as you can see. And that's including the rain. Some places had about a half inch before sunset this afternoon. So great question. Uh, looks like uh, Drew is asking about severe weather. And I am thinking that is such low confidence that we need to get a little bit closer to the end of this week. There could be some energy. When we see the next cold front come through Thursday night and Friday, so we'll keep an eye on that, Drew. Great question, but it's such low confidence uh, at this point. We need you to stay tuned to CapitalWeatherGang.com and follow us on Twitter at Capital Weather as we get closer to the end of this week. We could see a strong cold front come through, and that could usher what we're seeing the slight potential for below average temperatures this upcoming weekend. Uh, let's see. So, uh, Amy, make sure you've selected in your radar app uh, your nearest location. They just repaired the LWX radar out of Sterling, Virginia. I'm so happy the National Weather Service got that done six days in advance. But uh, there is a blob moving in, and it's going to continue this rain from the remnants of Delta overnight tonight. And again, about two inches or a little more for storm totals coming in by the time the heaviest rain subsides early to mid-morning tomorrow. But again, not dry until perhaps late morning on Tuesday. We have mist, showers, fog. We can't clear out all of this slow level moisture until perhaps Tuesday. Here's the map on Tuesday afternoon, evening as that cold front moves out and clears all that green hashed area out of here so we can start drying out and we'll see, we should see some sunshine by Tuesday afternoon as well. Hey Kit, thanks for tuning in. You love mid sixties and raining for sleeping. That's fantastic. Keep those windows open. Enjoy these raindrops. Uh, flooding risk is low, so that is good. Just keep an eye out for Patchy flooding in the lowest lying areas near some of the smaller streams and some urban flooding is possible as well here. There are some deep puddles, let's say right now, but luckily the soil can absorb mo most of this, which is some great news. Uh, what else do I have for you? The storm uh, rain totals. Again, we could see over two inches of rain by the time this is all set and done early to mid morning tomorrow. Heaviest rain coming in tonight. And uh, it looks like I, Paige, that's great. I just answered your question. Uh, southwest of town, which is the motion of this rain, it should continue that way through tomorrow morning as the heaviest rain ends. So the earlier you are, you, the earlier you want the rain, I hope you live southwest of town. Southwest to northeast is the motion of this rain. So uh, you will see it end earliest to the southwest of town and latest, it'll end maybe midday, very early afternoon, further northeast of town. So uh, I hope that helps. And here's your forecast at a glance for the week ahead. Again, midweek is looking pretty sweet. And so we had hit another cold front Thursday night into Friday that we need to watch as well. Could be a little bit strong. So stay tuned to capitalweathergang.com and follow us on Twitter, Capital Weather. I'm Camden Walker. Love talking to you on our weekly Sunday sunset Q&As. How are you all doing? Robert, thank you for your videos. You're most kind. And uh, you are hoping that front will stall so the weather will cooperate for your visit to Williamsburg on Friday. And uh, you are loving the break from allergies, Danielle, indeed. The little bit of moles and ragweed that I saw for the pollen count before the strain has luckily been washed out, so I'm feeling better as well. And Tuesday is indeed looking better by uh, later in the afternoon. I think that was Liz asking that. And Claudia, you're most welcome. Thanks for tuning in. And Stephanie, you're loving the cool temps. Please repeat anything I may have missed. I will check comments in another minute, but let's go through a few more pieces that we're talking about. We've got your PM updates on capitalweathergang.com, a uh, report from the ground on cwg.news slash inside delta. And this is cwg.news slash latest for the latest forecast by Greg Porter. And of course the foliage report, cwg.news slash foliage for the latest colors in the region. So keep that in mind. All right, so 
Have a great week, Marie. Thanks for tuning in. Emily, you drive safely as well. It is indeed a little bit slippery. I had to drive across Virginia today. Gary, thanks for tuning in. Bye for now. And uh, I don't have too bit of, big of a concern for severe weather later this week just yet, but I think we'll have a better idea by later on Wednesday, Drew. So great question. Uh, it's a very limited chance, but I grant you that it is a strong cold front with some strong jet stream energy that could, uh, as we were talking about, have some below average temperatures for this weekend. So if we do see this striking of a regime change and a, a big air mass difference for this upcoming weekend for below average temperatures, there's some low probability that we see a, a couple of thunderstorms. Even in this rain today, we could see a few rumbles of thunder uh, tonight and tomorrow. So keep that in mind, but uh, we'll keep you posted uh, with this potential for cool air, uh, below average air later this weekend. Uh, so stay tuned to capitalweathergame.com. We could even see uh, some strong, maybe windy storms uh, on Friday as well. But such a low probability, it's a low confidence that uh, it is really not worth planning around just yet. Uh, you were on your bike earlier, Charles, and uh, I'm glad that you hopefully are inside now. Hope you got a little bike ride in. That's excellent. And Liz, uh, the valley has not changed too much with the leaves. I have noticed that in Woodstock today. Uh, it's, it was not very colorful, but here, let's go through the foliage aspects here. In Maryland, uh, there has been some decent color, especially Garrett, Allegheny County. And then here's our average for the region. We kind of get going around here mid-October or so, uh, but yes, downtown could be early November. Uh, Fredericksburg and I-95 points east could be early November. Uh, we're not seeing too much progression yet. So this is from SmokyMountains.com. Uh, and they had modeled that we should kind of see by next weekend some peak color around here, but we could, I get the sense that we're a few days behind. So we will have to watch that, uh, but the weather could cooperate. We could see some cooler air next week that could, this is uh, below average air in the blue for the overall average next week. We could see the jet stream dip down into the region and that could help accelerate some of the fall foliage. So keep that in mind and our average would be by next Sunday when you talk to me, 68 degrees for high. Uh, and then right now, when you're talking to me for this Sunday, keep in mind the average is 70 degrees and a low temperature of 52 at DC airport. So next Sunday, which applies to this map's benchmark, keep that in mind, below average, you want to have the benchmark for average, right? So if we have a slight chance that below average temperatures come next work week, we could uh, struggle at times to see 68 degrees for a high temperature. We could even see some potentially uh, upper 50s, uh, low 60s for high temperatures, but we'll see as we get closer. Just want to give you the atmospheric signals ahead of time so you can keep that in the back of your mind. But of course, this is not an exact forecast and the confidence builds as we get closer to uh, that next week work week. Ah, let's get the graphics to cooperate. There we go. Boom. All right. So let me check as I put up the forecast at a glance. Midweek is when we get sunnier again. It's going to be wet perhaps through Tuesday morning, but at least the heaviest from Delta, the heaviest rains end by uh, early to mid-morning tomorrow, so keep that in mind. Rain to start in Franconia. Thanks, uh, not much yet, says Martina. Thank you so much. And uh, jet stream energy comes in from Canada when we have a transition to winter, uh, Drew. So the jet stream is getting energized as the differential uh, temperatures between the equator and the pole get more and more different. Uh, colder at the pole as the Earth is tilting away from the sun this time of year, and it remains very warm with solar energy constant at the equator. So that differential uh, is going to produce a stronger and stronger jet stream as the Earth tries to rebalance the heat energy between the pole and but between the North Pole and the equator. So that's why the jet stream could move in here a little bit uh, Thursday night into Friday and produce some strong weather, but it's really not worth planning around just yet. We need to get closer to see just how cool that air comes in for this weekend and if this cold front remains on time for the end of the week. So hope that helped you. Excellent. Stephanie, cold front equals snow. Not yet. No snow in the forecast. Nope, Stephanie. I'm sorry if I gave that impression. And Rodney, you're excellent for tuning in. I appreciate the kind words. And what else have I missed? I'm gonna shake the camera a little bit as I scroll up. Uh, let's see. All right, I haven't missed too much. Thank you all for tuning in. I'm Camden Walk for Capital Weather Gang. Here's your forecast at a glance. Anytime you need us, of course, we're at capitalweathergang.com and on Twitter at Capital Weather. We're gonna have some heavy rain tonight and uh, move southwest northeast and that is going to be the pattern through early to mid morning tomorrow as the heaviest rain tries to exit from southwest to northeast so the southwest part of town could see the earliest drying earliest parts of the morning hours tomorrow but uh, later clearing of the heaviest rain into uh, maybe midday and early afternoon northeast of town tomorrow northeast of town will dry out 
uh, later later tomorrow, but uh, it's not going to be completely dry. Just we'll get to that in a second. The heaviest rain, maybe an inch and a half tonight, maybe an inch additional two inches for storm totals, as this map indicates by uh, later tomorrow, maybe over two inches in some spots. And this is including, of course, before sunset, we've had this rain over much of the region give some spots up to a half inch of rain. So this is a storm total by tomorrow afternoon when, uh, yep, by 2 p.m., most of the heaviest rain should be well out of the region, even for the points northeast of town that see the later clearing. Here's the mess of a map tomorrow. Look at the green all over the region indicating some showers. Uh, maybe even a couple thunderstorms are possible, but uh, the rain does get lighter and turns a little more showery, a little more intermittent towards some mist, maybe some fog as we get into tomorrow night. Uh, but we don't really dry out until Delta fully pulls away out to, sh out to sea. And this cold front and drier times come through by Tuesday midday into Tuesday afternoon. We should see some sunshine finally getting a cold front to sweep us out, clear us out by Tuesday afternoon. So midweek is what I want you to focus on, sunshine lovers. You will enjoy Wednesday and Thursday ahead of our next cold front, bringing some precipitation, some rain, perhaps maybe a couple strong storms. We'll keep you posted Thursday night into Friday. A lot remains to be seen if that remains on schedule and just how potent some cold air is behind this cold front this upcoming weekend, but it could be notably below average for this upcoming weekend. There's a slight chance, so we'll keep you posted. And here's a preview of Saturday, which of course with low confidence view this with a grain of salt, we could see maybe high temperatures staying below 60 degrees. And we'll see if some rain kind of bothers us into the morning hours or midday hours on Tuesday. Lots remains to come together for that on the weekend. All right. So Keep in mind, we have lots going on in the blog on capitalweathergang.com. Anytime you need us, go to capitalweathergang.com. I'm Camden Walker. CWG.news slash latest is your latest.